welcome to shekar maths today we are going to learn 7th class mathematics 4th chapter lines and angles angles made by a transversal exercise 4.4 before going to do the exercise let us see the textbook transversal concept see the picture of a ladder gate pillars of a building and railway track see the horizontal lines and vertical lines the vertical lines indicate the transversal concept in different pictures and a transversal is a straight line that intersect two or more straight lines at distinct points here observe that in first second and third figure transversal is there but in fourth figure there is no transversal line angles made by a transversal when a transversal P intersects two lines M and N at two distinct points. Then eight angles will be formed as shown in the figure. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7 and angle 8. Now let us see the different types of angles. Number 1 interior angles that means inside angles the angles which lie between the lines M and N are interior angles. They are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6. Now number 2. Exterior angles. Exterior means outside. The angles which lie outside the lines M and N are exterior angles. They are angle 1, angle 2, angle 7 and angle 8. Number 3. Corresponding angles. Two angles are said to be corresponding angles. If they lie on the same side of the transversal, but one is interior and other is exterior. Here, angle 1, angle 5 is one pair. Angle 4, angle 8 is another pair. Angle 2, angle 6 and angle 3, angle 7 are the corresponding angles. Now number 4, alternate interior angles. Alternate means on either side. The angles which lie on either side of the transversal, but both are interior. One pair is angle 4, angle 6, another pair is angle 3, angle 5. Now number 5, alternate exterior angles. Alternate means on either side, exterior means outside angles. So the angles which lie on either side of the transversal, but they are exterior. One pair is angle 1, angle 7, another pair is angle 2 and angle 8. Now number 6, co-interior angles means the angles which lie on the same side of the transversal but uh, they are inside angles one pair is angle 3 angle 6 and another pair is angle 4 and angle 5 number 7 co-exterior angles that means they lie on the same side of the transversal but they are uh, outside angles one pair is angle 2 angle 7 and another pair is angle 1 angle 8 now let us see the all types of angles when the lines are parallel when a transversal intersects a pair of parallel lines P and Q, let the angles formed be angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7 and angle 8. Then interior angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6 inside angles. Exterior means outside angles are angle 1, angle 2, angle 7 and angle 8. Corresponding angles are equal. Angle 1 is equal to angle 5. Angle 2 is equal to angle 6. Angle 3 is equal to angle 7 and angle 4 is equal to angle 8. Alternate interior angles are also equal. They are angle 3 is equal to angle 5, angle 4 is equal to angle 6. Now alternate exterior angles are also equal. Angle 1 is equal to angle 7, angle 2 is equal to angle 8. Interior angles on the same side of the transverse are all supplementary. That means angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle 4 plus angle 5 is also equal to 180 degrees. Exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. That means angle 1 plus angle 8 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle 2 plus angle 7 is also equal to 180 degrees. Now let us do exercise 4.4. First problem. In the given figure, two lines P is parallel to Q and R is transversal. If angle 3 is 135 degrees, then find the remaining angles. Solution. Angle 1 is equal to angle 3 is equal to 135 degrees because vertically opposite angles are equal. Angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees because linear sum of angles is 180 degrees because they lie on the same line or 
angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees minus angle 3 that means 180 degrees minus 135 so angle 2 is equal to 45 degrees because 180 degrees minus 135 degrees gives 45 degrees now angle 4 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 45 degrees because vertically opposite angles are equal angle 5 is equal to angle 3 is equal to 135 degrees because alternate interior angles are equal angle 6 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 45 degrees because corresponding angles are equal angle 7 is equal to angle 6 equal to 45 degrees because vertically opposite angles are equal angle 8 is equal to angle 5 is equal to 135 degrees because vertically opposite angles are equal so angle 1 is equal to angle 3 is equal to angle 5 is equal to angle 8 is equal to 135 degrees angle 2 is equal to angle 4 is equal to angle 6 is equal to angle 7 is equal to 45 degrees now let us take second problem in the given figure ab is parallel to cd and de is a transversal then find x solution given that ab is parallel to cd and de is a transversal then from the figure x plus 35 degrees is equal to 100 degrees because corresponding angles are equal now x is equal to 100 minus 35 degrees because plus 35 when transposed to right hand side it becomes minus 35 degrees so x is equal to 65 degrees because 100 minus 35 degrees gives 65 degrees now third problem in the given figure m is parallel to n and p is transversal find x and y solution x is equal to 120 degrees because vertically opposite angles are equal from the figure and also observe that y plus 45 degrees is equal to x because corresponding angles are equal now y plus 45 degrees is equal to 120 degrees because x is 120 degrees now y is equal to 120 minus 45 degrees because plus 45 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes minus 45 degrees so y is equal to 75 degrees because 120 minus 45 gives 75 degrees so x is equal to 120 degrees and y is equal to 75 degrees now fourth problem in the given figure ab bar is parallel to cd bar is parallel to fe bar find x y and angle aec solution observe that in the above figure ab bar is parallel to fe bar then the angles in between them that is x is equal to 20 degrees because alternate interior angles are equal now in between the parallel lines fe bar and cd bar y is equal to 33 degrees because they are also alternate interior angles are equal now observe that angle aec is the angle which is the combination of two angles x and y where x is equal to 20 degrees and y is equal to 33 degrees so angle aec is equal to 53 degrees because 20 plus 33 gives 53 degrees so x is equal to 20 degrees y is equal to 33 degrees and angle aec is equal to 53 degrees now let us take fifth problem in the given figure t is a transversal it intersects two lines p and q check whether p is parallel to q or not solution in the above figure 100 plus 80 degrees is equal to 180 degrees that means some of the interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary then the lines are parallel so p is parallel to q now let us take sixth problem in the given figure if l is parallel to m then find x y and z solution given that L is parallel to M and AB is a transversal. Then we can say that X is equal to 60 degrees because alternate interior angles are equal. And also given that L is parallel to M and if AC is taken as a transversal, then Z is equal to 40 degrees because alternate interior angles are equal. Now also observe that on the line L, sum of the angles 60 plus y plus z is equal to 180 degrees because sum of the angles on a same line l is equal to 180 degrees so 60 plus y plus 40 degrees is equal to 180 degrees because z is equal to 40 degrees now 100 plus y is equal to 180 degrees because 60 plus 40 gives 100 degrees now y is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees so y is equal to 80 degrees because 180 minus 100 gives 80 degrees so x is equal to 60 degrees 
y is equal to 80 degrees and z is equal to 40 degrees. Now let us take seventh problem. In the given figure, P, Q, R and S are parallel lines and T is a transversal. Find X, Y and Z. Solution. Given that P is parallel to Q and observe the angles in between them. It is 80 degrees and X. Now 80 degrees plus X is equal to 180 degrees because they are the interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Also we can say that sum of co-interior angles is equal to 180 degrees. Now X is equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees. Then X is equal to 100 degrees. Because 180 degrees minus 80 degrees gives 100 degrees. Let A be the vertically opposite angle to X. Then A is equal to X because vertically opposite angles are equal. Then A becomes 100 degrees because X is equal to 100 degrees. And observe that Q and R are parallel lines. In between them, A and Y are the angles. So, sum of these angles also equal to 180 degrees. That means sum of co-interior angles is equal to 180 degrees. So, A is 100. So, 100 plus Y is equal to 180 degrees. So, Y is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees. So, Y is equal to 80 degrees. Because 180 degrees minus 100 degrees gives 80 degrees. Now, observe that R and S are parallel lines. So, Z and Y becomes the alternate exterior angles which are equal. Now, Z is equal to 80 because Y is equal to 80 degrees. So, X is equal to 100 degrees. Y is equal to 80 degrees. Z is equal to 80 degrees are the answers. Now, let us take 8th problem. In the given figure, AB bar is parallel to CD bar and E is a point in between them. Then find X plus Y plus Z. Solution. Draw a line EF parallel to AB bar and CD bar through the point E. Now, line EF bisects the angle Y. That means it makes into two halves. Given that AB bar is parallel to EF bar, so the angle in between them is 1 X degrees, another is half Y. So, X plus half Y is equal to 180 degrees because sum of the co-interior angles is equal to 180 degrees. And also observe that EF is parallel to CD bar and angles in between them is half Y and Z. So, sum of these angles is also equal to 180 degrees. Now, add X, half Y, half Y becomes Y and Z on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side 180 degrees plus 180 degrees becomes 360 degrees. So x plus y plus z is equal to 360 degrees. Now ninth problem. Identify the pair of parallel lines in the given figure and write them. Solution. Observe that 60 degrees is equal to 60 degrees. One is interior, another is exterior but same side. So corresponding angles are equal. So the lines AL is parallel to EH. 90 degrees and 90 degrees, they are also corresponding angles which are equal. So, BK is parallel to DI. Again, 50 degrees and 50 degrees angles also corresponding angles which are equal. So, the lines CJ is parallel to CFG. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe.